everybody this is a lawnmower I got about seven years ago it's a home light uh, 24 volt uh, battery powered lawnmower um, 20 amp hour 12 volt two of them for 24 volt in series uh, 20 amp hour um, how I have been charging this is when these are in series uh, the 24 volt output going to the motor I just had wires coming out of here and I'll charge it with my 1AU universal um, charger uh, on the highest 24 volt setting and it did pretty good and it actually outperformed the factory charger um, where I actually wound up with probably uh, about maybe 50 percent more capacity because I was able at, at this other house I had uh, I was able to mow the entire lawn um, on one charge from the 1AU but the with the factory charger when it said it was uh, when I had it charged all the way up um, I was only able to mow uh, the front and maybe about one third of the back before the uh, red light came on. There's like an indicator, uh, battery indicator light on there. Red, low, medium, and high. Or, and a yellow one first. Um, but anyway, uh, so what I'm doing is I would rather charge it with the 12 volt uh, trickle charger or the two, uh, 2A12 um, from teslachargers.com. That's the one that I'm going to be using instead of the universal one uh, so I can use, have the universal one because it takes a little bit a little while to charge it up uh, this will be a little bit quicker uh, stronger charge uh, plus um, when I have a 12 volt setup here I'll be able to put the uh, solar charge controller on there and charge it in the sun and uh, be a lot more flexible and so the way I'm doing it is normally uh, this is uh, 12 volt positive negative and then uh, the factory wire jumps these two to put them in series so you got 24 volts so what I'm doing is I took that wire off and I got three switches here which you can see right here okay now the purpose of these switches is that this big switch here um, will disconnect the series connection so that the batteries are isolated from each other okay so if we have positive here um, normally the series connection is here so we have positive here going through that winding or that wire to this side of the switch and the other side of the switch we're going to negative so when this switch is on we have a 24 volt battery bank when I turn the switch off it disconnects that series connection and the batteries are isolated from each other so the two other switches since this one is positive I just have it jumped over to here since it's in contact with the positive here and then this side of the switch goes to the positive of the opposite battery which means when that switch goes on these two positives are paralleled and then the black one here from the series switch I have it jumpered over to this other switch right here and then the other side of that switch goes to this negative so what that does is it puts these two negatives in parallel so again the series switch goes off it disconnects the series and they're isolated and then when I throw both of these switches on it parallels it puts um, uh, the two black or the two negative in connection and the two red in connection and then what I did was I took uh, negative from here since when they're in parallel that negative is touching both negatives through the switch and I have that um, coming down through here to this little screw and then this positive since it's going to be connected to that positive when this when the parallel switch is on that's going to that screw so you can see uh, those two terminals right there so this will be negative right here and this will be positive so again I turn the series switch off and then I turn two parallel on and I got 12 volts so I can charge it and when it's done I disconnect the two parallel switches I turn them off then I turn the 24 uh, the series connection on and I'm back to 24 volts to run the lawnmower so that's how I'm gonna be doing the 2A12 so I'm gonna um, screw this case back on uh, do it test it real quick throw it on there and show that that's uh, what's what's happening now the terminals that I took the uh, 12 volt parallel off of I did a negative from one battery and a positive from one battery uh, that's a pretty foolproof method for me to know that they're actually not um, 
in series or, or in any other condition because when I measure the voltage on there I'm gonna get nothing um, so I know that they're not not in parallel <coughs> the reason is is because if I took it from one battery I'm gonna have uh, from uh, both terminals on one single battery I would always have a 12 volt reading there so I wouldn't really know what the situation is but if I have no voltage they're not in parallel and I will only have voltage here if they're in parallel and you got to do this at your own risk make sure you're not gonna be shorting the batteries out catching on fire and all that kind of thing so anyway parallel connections right here are off this is a series connection so I'm gonna throw it on and I should have 24 volts right here to run the lawnmower Okay, so I'm going to throw the series connection off so it's no longer 24. The batteries are isolated from each other. <coughs> then I'm going to turn one terminal on and the other one. Now both batteries are in parallel and I should get a 12-volt um, uh, reading here. Twelve point six three. Let's see. Twelve point six six. So that's above full charge. Um, now, if I disconnected one of these parallel switches, I got twelve seventy. That means I'm reading the voltage of one battery. And if I disconnected one parallel and did the other one. I'm reading 1268, so they're two hundredths of a volt different from each other. Okay, turn it back on. So we got 1270, so I can hook the charger up. Let's see, got to figure out which one is negative again. Okay. And I'll label these with stickers and stuff. Okay, so this is negative. And with the 2A12, um, if you hook it up backwards, it's not going to damage anything. It's pretty... Uh, Pretty smart. Okay, so I got it like that. Okay, and so what I might do is I might um, put on a lot, like a large size washer that fits on here, or a bolt or something like that, or maybe some acorn nut or or whatever, just to um, have a bigger thing for these to grip onto. And what I might do is just uh, plug up an end of a like a little vinyl tube, cut it real short, slip it over those so they don't accidentally get shorted out. So I just gotta pull the tubes off and do it. But anyway, we're looking at 1280. This thing popped back up a little bit. Um, it's connected to the charger. I'm gonna plug the charger in here. Okay, it's charging, the red light's on. And we can see the battery pop about 12.9. And basically just leave it on until the uh, green light comes on and you're done. But what I like about this setup is I can also put my uh, solar panels on there with the little S3A12. Uh, the 3 amp solar charger with 45, 50 watt worth, worth of panels and just chart, you know, have it charging up uh, when it's sunny. But anyway, so this is one way where you can take a 24 volt lawnmower and actually use the uh, S uh, or the uh, 2A12 or the solar um, S3A12. So right now it's a 12 volt, 40 amp hour battery bank. I like to get lithium ions, but they're still uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. But they're just uh, still so expensive right now, but this thing is pushing this thing right up. It's already pretty much uh, charged up pretty good. Anyway, this is a simple solution. It only costs a few, few you know, you only need three switches. There's probably an easier way to do this, but you know, um, and I use pretty, I use 10 gauge wire just to make sure that it's going to uh, have a real good connection and everything is clamped down pretty hard so anyway hope that helps somebody out there teslachargers.com that's the s2a12 or the 2a12 okay that's the 50 watts uh, solar panels the s3a12 uh, charge controller um, Right now it's not hooked up, but the voltage is at 13.38. I get that to focus. 13.38. It's the voltmeter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the uh, 
S3A12, this sticker is peeling because I've had this out in the rain and I've abused it pretty bad and it keeps on working just like new. Um, but anyway, I'm going to hook this up to it and we've got a solar powered lawnmower or solar charged. So it's pushing it pretty good. When green light comes on, it's done. I don't know if those are like regular gel cells or AGMs. They might be like AGMs, and it's okay to push those to eh, about 15. Gel cells, definitely 14, 8 you want to stop it at. See, it's already at 13.86. It's charging it pretty good. And these are already pretty much charged up. But this is just for a demo. So you can do the, you know, series is off, parallel is on. So I'm charging in 12 volts. Then when it's done, parallel off, series on, and ready to mow. It hasn't been that long, and uh, it's already at 14.3. And I don't know if it'll be able to push it to 15 because these batteries have been pretty badly abused. But this also happens to be a handy battery because last year when the power went out, I used a 35 amp hour battery and uh, for a day and a half, that plus my Harbor Freight panel, solar panels, not those, I hooked an inverter onto it and I ran my refrigerator and it was enough to keep the refrigerator on until uh, power came on. So I could just roll the lawnmower to my back kitchen door and uh, hook an inverter and run my refrigerator on the uh, lawnmower. <laughs> So it's at 